Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid Lit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to review a junior fiction title, Ella and the Amazing Frog Orchestra by Casey Polamani and Hayaki Breeze. This is a really gorgeous little story that was sent to me for review, so thank you very much to the publisher for the review copy. It is the start of a series and I'm going to read you the back of the book first and then I will talk a little bit about what I thought of it. So it says, eight-year-old Ella hates her new house until she discovers a secret pond in her neighbor's backyard filled with an orchestra of frogs. At her new school, Ella meets Mai and learns about their class frog bog project. But when the neighbor's pond is under threat, Ella and Mai must come up with a plan to save the frogs before it's too late. So this story, as it says, is about Ella who has just moved into a new area with her family. She's really not happy about it. She doesn't want to get involved with helping to unpack things. She's still sort of processing her feelings about being moved away from everything that she knows. At the start of the book, it's very wet and rainy and so she hasn't been outside. And then when the rain stops, the first thing she does is make a beeline outside and she discovers these frogs in the backyard. And she is just immediately enamored by them, having not really seen frogs up close before. When she gets over her nerves at her new school and she does meet Mai and she finds out about how the school has a conservation project for the frogs in the local area, she begins to learn more about them and she becomes quite invested. And then when she notices that the pond is under threat, she is really, really concerned and she's able to talk to Mai and her teacher and her mum about how they could possibly help maintain an environment for the frogs to continue to survive and thrive. Then that leads to Ella and her family building their own little frog pond to try and coax the animals back. It's a really gorgeous story about conservation and I think it also really accurately depicts how a lot of children feel when they do have to move to a new place and when they do have to start a new school and a lot of that is really relatable which makes it a great book for kids in that age bracket. It is written for five to eight year olds. You could go up a year or two depending on the reading level and the interest level of the reader of course. There's a lot of information in the book about frogs which is also great and there is also a section at the back of the book about how you can build your own frog pond so it does give you that connection to the story and a way to support conservation of local animals and plant life within the area. There is a good mix of text and illustrations within the story to help move the story along as well as you know some pages that are a little bit less heavy on the text which makes it great for that age group. It's also a really good length and I think we're introduced to a lot of great characters who we will more than likely see throughout the series. I think this book will appeal to anyone who likes their stories sprinkled with some facts that give them a jumping off point to exploring and learning new things and honestly it was just a really delightful little read and there are going to be four books total in the series so I'm looking forward to seeing the next one which I think is called Ella and the Sleepover Safari. I'm looking forward to when that comes out because I think this is going to be a great accessible series for readers who want a good mix of contemporary fiction storytelling for children mixed in with information. Thank you very much again for the review copy. I really enjoyed reading this one. I will leave links to the author, the illustrator and the publisher down below if you would like to find out more information about the book as well as the book synopsis if you want to go back and reread it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.